Hello there, this is Rom coming back at you with yet another car video. The average man will only have five partners in his lifetime. Five partners. And I'm being nice again, I ain't want to put the sex word in, in the thing. <laughs> anyway, right? Um, this is a follow-up to the video I did yesterday because I had mentioned that during the video. And, you know, hey, some people, they were like, five, five, five. It includes a young man. He, he's been a faithful follower. He couldn't imagine, like, five in a lifetime. He said maybe five in a year, but not five in a lifetime. And, you, bruh, you know you on the select side. So, yeah, you might not can imagine it. But, you know, a couple other people said it, and it sound it could sound crazy because you know a lot of guys out here be like, "Oh yeah, I've been with fifty, I've been with a hundred, I've been with all of that." Okay, but is everybody saying that? Now, here's the thing. This is very important to understand. Now, I I don't just I don't talk lightly. I don't talk lightly. I don't say shit off the top of my head. I told you I either go through my experience or I do the research. I'm big on that field research. And even though I take studies with a grain of salt, I still pay attention to them. A grain of salt don't mean it's bad. It's just like you look at it, you really look at it. And there are like three major reasons why that number to me is plausible. Three major reasons. One, first one is the studies. All you have to do, just, just go to Google right now and say, what's the average amount of partners sex partners a man will have. They talk about the women too, right? And usually they say, even though I say five, it's usually the general number is between, of course, zero and eight. That's the general number I've seen. Now, depending on the study, they might say, well, this group has had this many or this country has had this, but we're just talking about an overall thing. And this is globally, this is globally. And these are studies. There's multiple studies. Just like I said, just go to, just go to Google or whatever search engine engine you use, and put that in, and you're going to get a whole bunch of stuff. And I'm gonna tell you what, I had to do that research. <laughs> I had I had to do that research because there was a YouTuber. I can't remember his exact name, but he had said on a video. He had said on a video, and this is before I got on YouTube, really started doing videos. I had a YouTube account, but from like 2008, but I ain't really do videos until uh, 2014. And even then, I ain't do them steady until about 2015. But anyway, he had said, you know, it's extraordinary if a man has 10 sex partners. Great if he had 20. And then he said he was no good. He had 300. But he said, um, he's dealt with a lot of diesels. He was on, and he was kind of on more like the pimp side of the game. I put it like that. Wasn't a pimp as far as he said, but he just said he was no good. But whatever the case. Now, when I heard that, I was like, what? So I researched it. And that's what I always say. No matter what I say on here, just research it. I said, I don't have a problem with it. I don't say anything I can't back up. Do some real research on every every single thing I say. So when I heard that from him, instead of just just say, oh, that's it, I did the research. I was like, I know this motherfucker. So I said, shit, oh, damn. Right? And then I started thinking about it some more, right? I started thinking about it. Right? Because I remember, you know, and I even said that to the young man who, uh, who had posted yesterday. I said, yeah, it was tough for me to believe, too, because most of the guys I've been around coming up were players. Most of them. Now, some of them didn't, but I thought it was the norm for a guy to have it. I thought it was the norm. I honestly did. Indeed, I thought it was the norm to the point. When I came out with my book, Nice Guys and Players, I actually had to do research on that. <laughs> In the sense of not the player part, but the nice guy part. I knew nice guys existed, but I didn't know it was bad enough for... Uh, you know, for them to need a book or anything. Because what it was... When I first started in the whole like relationship advice game, I had stuff for the ladies because I thought guys were okay. I mean, like I said, my buddies were okay. My soul peer group was okay. They were getting theirs. 
Shit, it was unusual if someone in my peer group wasn't wasn't getting this. And usually, yeah, you got dry spells and everything, but for the most part. Most of the men, well, most of the men in my peer group, but then, like, in my social circles, you would meet some guys. So I ain't think anything of it, but when you have scores of guys say, we need some, we need some, scores of guys in there, I was like, okay, let me look into it. So I started looking into it. I actually did some research on the internet uh, to see what other people were saying, like message boards and stuff, like, as it was then. And this is back in the 90s. Now, like I said, I ain't seen some stuff. I ain't seen some people had trouble. But because of my uh, real social circle, it was like it wasn't the norm. So I knew that. But I didn't think it was as bad. And, you know, I was just like, wow. And then how my book sold. Now, I said directly. I sold it to mostly players when I sold it direct, but online and everything, those weren't players that were buying my books. So that was that was one thing. That was one thing. And then um, you had the question, if men were getting it so easy, if men were getting it like that, like if it was graded like all guys were out here slaying like 20, 30 women apiece, why do we have these internet communities right here on YouTube? Why, I mean, why is the incel movement large to the point that the federal government is paying attention to them? No, the federal government is paying attention to them. There's been news stories about it that they shared. No telling what they're not sharing. They're playing, paying close attention to the movement. You know, they even labeled them a uh, potential terrorist. They, they seriously, they're looking at it. They've been looking at it. And why are these movements so damn big? You know? Why are a lot of guys in, um, well, I'm just going to say it, a lot of guys in the red pill community, if they were getting women like that, if men were getting, let's just say they weren't, if they ain't had to limit it to like five in a lifetime. They getting it like that, like five a year. Please. They, these communities wouldn't exist. They wouldn't need to, or they wouldn't be as large as they are. Let's just be real. If I went on, if I, hey, Honestly, a lot of people say, I always get some people say, hey, you should have a million subs, million subs. I was like, I don't expect to. <laughs> That's why I say this is the channel for wolves. But if I would have talked like, oh, these women terrible, all oh, that shit, you know how many people I would have? Shoot. Because let, let's just be real. A lot of content creators, that's their audience. Men having trouble with women. If men were getting at least five women a year, they wouldn't have trouble. And I'm going to get more into that later. But it's still the main thing about, um, like, what the stats are. What the stats are, the studies, or that major study talking about, what, 63% of men under the age of 30. Under the age of 30, alone, and sexless. Come on, man. First of all, if you're getting five women a year, think about something. Think about something. You're getting five women a year, shit. In five years, you had 25 women a year, if that was the case, a year. Or if you're getting it like that, right? You're getting it like that. You wouldn't really have any complaints. Even when the woman acts up or something, you just go to your next one. If you got it like that. If you got it like that. Guys wouldn't complain. You wouldn't have, seriously, you wouldn't have all of these men or men doing whatever even I, look i'm just gonna call it out even some men talking about well we're gonna go our own way or the women this or that you're just going to the next woman if they were getting it like that i want y'all to think about that you know you wouldn't have these communities you wouldn't have all these studies and let me get back into that study thing for a second these are self-reported studies they're not putting these guys up to a lie detector and you know Self-reported, that's why I say in general, take uh, studies with a grain of salt, but let's just be real. Men be lying on their dicks. And who's to say some of the ones didn't? Even the ones saying, oh, yeah, I've been with 20 women. Who's to say they ain't lying? But to be honest, is it says, I guess since the surveys are anonymous, they probably, uh, there's a likelihood, more of a likelihood, not a total, but more of a likelihood they're honest if they say this. I want some people to think about it. Just sit back and think about that. 
combine that, like I said, do the research. And then think about the, all these communities online that's complaining. Think about all these incel communities, all these black pill communities. What are they saying? Or and think about something else. Think about all these guys complaining about online dating be, and not getting a woman because they don't look like Chad. If they're getting it like that, and these are average men, if they're getting it like that, they wouldn't have anything to complain about. They would not have a thing to complain about. And there's still that third part, but I'm a, I'll get to that. I'll get to that because I'm going to the cleaners and stuff. I'm going to talk about that because that's an important thing to consider. I'm going to get into some deep psychology and social dynamics. But just think about seriously. I want y'all to seriously think about that. Do the research. See what's said. These are, and these are multiple. These are multiple. Some of those uh, studies go back years. Shoot. A group like the Center for Disease Control, CDC, they were looking into it. I was like, man. And I'm going to tell you what, though. I'm going to tell you what, though. Actually, with women, there are probably ways to get an idea about their actual counts. And somebody might bother to do the research. I don't know. I haven't looked specifically to that, right? And, uh-oh, candy gram. Anyway, um, BGS know what I'm talking about. Anyway. Because uh, if a woman's like keeping regular dental, I mean, not dental. Don't ask why I thought dental. Uh, doctor's appointments. A friend of mine just had a dental appointment. But doctor's appointments, pap smears and stuff, they got to they gotta be honest with their doctor about how many times they had sex. So somebody knows some. But that's just the women. But the men, I mean, you got men admitting on self-reported tests that they might not have been with that many women. And some guys don't give a shit. They'll say it publicly. You know? And even my consultation, I, I've said it several times, most, most of my male clients, most of my male clients, because uh, one third of them are women, but most of my male clients are like select men. And they just want to know how to manage their multiple women. Okay, I get them. I, they, they ain't going to get this. They probably be like, listening now, like, huh? Ah, come on, dude, it's easy. They thinking that, right? But then I do get some. I say, Psh, what, 20% of my clients. I'll round it to that, 25%. I say 25% of my male clients. They got low counts. They got low counts, and some of them don't have no counts. You know, that's the shit. A whole lot of them only only count they can they can they'll count like the uh, like uh, like the sex worker or something. And there's an argument there about counting them. Personally, I don't see that as a count because anybody can pay for that woman. Anybody literally can pay for that woman. And that's that's too easy. That's too easy. And let's be real, a lot of guys thinking in terms of relationships anyway. You ain't going to have a relationship with that sex worker. Because most guys want that, you know. But just to think about it, all the studies, everything, and, you know, all these groups online. Okay. Because if men were getting it like that as a group, why are these groups so damn large? Like I said, if I really wanted a million subs, all I had to do was just switch who I'm like talking to. Because no matter what I say, my that's the Wolves channel. That's the Wolves channel. I throw some stuff out for everybody else, but that's the Wolves channel. And it'd be just a totally different thing. So those, I mean, those are two things. But there's a third thing. Now this, this is, it'll be more difficult. It'll be more difficult because you got to get into some social dynamics and everything but anyway but it's even connected to the first two but I'll give you that in a second alright give you that in a second clothes y'all Rom don't be joking about keeping those clothes clean anyway I'll talk to you in a second alright y'all I just had to drop off my stuff answer a couple other candy grams yeah <laughs> anyway um. Yeah, so you got those first two things. You got um, 
the studies, y'all can do that yourself. And then just look, just think about like the number of men out here complaining, complaining and everything. Because look, on a psychological thing, just, and this is like qualitative research, because remember, I've done, uh, I've done questionnaires of players, not known, known them uh, personally, been in the environment, so watched them, qualitative research, done formal research, done formal research like I've had put out some questionnaires and you know the thing is on the social dynamics thing if so many men if men were like getting it like that like the average man was getting it like that just think about all the angles nobody be worried about like some 80-20 rule or something. Nobody, they wouldn't care because they'd be like, well, I'm getting mine. Who gives a shit? <laughs> you know? Think about that. Just that 80-20 thing. Like, everybody's talking about that. You know? And you got guys saying, you got guys saying, well, it's just a 20%. Now, I've said more will still get some, at least. Maybe not, like, you know, big numbers and everything, but you can still get some. But these are guys complaining about this. I want y'all to think about this. This is God saying this. These are guys getting mad at Chad, uh, Chad and Tyrone, you know? And these are men walking around, you know, mad at the women. Mad at the women. If you're getting some, you wouldn't really care because you're getting some. Seriously, just psychologically. And this is something, this is more old, uh, I call it folk wisdom or something. I call it folk wisdom. I, I haven't seen anybody to formally study this. Like, but there's a different psychology. If you you can observe it between men who get in sex on a regular and men who don't. Like women know it. They can they they can be around a man and tell if he getting some. They can tell. They can tell and stuff because there's a difference in behavior. Like I said, it's more folk wisdom. more folk wisdom but they, they can tell you know because you're going to behave a certain way in fact even some street wisdom you know that's why because uh, you're going to behave a certain way and everything like even uh, in athletics they'll say yeah don't have sex you know don't have sex before a boxing match or before a game or something because they know what it does to you because one thing I found and I found this with men who generally um get sex on a regular or they not worried about getting sex even if they, they can voluntarily go monk mode or something and they ain't worried about it. They usually more chill. Seriously. They usually more chill. Now I know some people might not they might say well is there a scientific explanation for that? Well nobody's like formally studied that. Indeed there hasn't been too many studies, real studies, academic studies on like womanizers, like on the type of guys who get sex on the regular. This night hasn't been too much. I've actually looked. I've actually looked. Nobody's like sat down and said, people talk about them from the outside, but they'll find some different stuff because shoot, I might have the most material. Because like I said, I've had surveys and everything. I've done surveys and talked with people through consultations. You know, if I decide to put something together on it, maybe that'd be one of my projects or something. Like put together a formal project and just behavior, psycholo psychological, sociological, and everything else. Because if men would behave in a totally different way overall, if they were getting some pussy, seriously, seriously, or they get it on a regular. Because there's been numerous times you get a guy, he'll get that woman. But then he'll get that woman at first. But then he might go years without getting another one. I've had some consultation clients like that get that one woman. They break up. He don't get with anybody else for a long time. And then again, there's also situations where... A man, he, you know, he know he ain't one of the top men. He finally get that woman, and he's pretty much going to hold on for dear life. Even to the extent if she wants to step out, talking about she wants to open things up, he'll do it because he know he ain't getting no more. 
Oh, and here's another thing, too. I didn't even think about this at first. If men were getting it like that, I would say outside the sex industry, the sex industry wouldn't need to exist. If it was the average man, it wouldn't need to exist. You know, dudes wouldn't have to pay or they wouldn't have to do stuff like, uh, or they uh, also wouldn't get be played by uh, like a lot of these acculturated prostitutes and everything out here. Because think about that too. Think of, think about just the reaction. If you get, I'll, I'll put it like this. Let me, because there's so much with that. Like I say, it might have to do Professor Rom and actually put together some. You know, and I would have the references. I would have the references and the few studies that are out there when it talks about womanizers and behavior. But it really is a, a lot of guys, if you just look at their behavior, they ain't getting it like that. You wouldn't have guys who like getting angry or anything at women. Or you would have very, very few. You would have very few. That whole 80-20 rule, that would be non-existent. Because the guys, come on now, if you say five women a year, like I said, five years, that's 25. In 10 years, shoot, 50. And that's, if you're saying that's average, so if you can get five, shit, you can get 50. You know, you wouldn't have guys talking about, you wouldn't have any issue with guys being uh, single. I mean, that shoot, that was on like mainstream, that's been on mainstream media talking about that. Shoot, that's an economic thing. They, shoot, these guys, hey, <laughs> economic, they concern. They concern, shoot, if they were getting it like that. Hell, there probably wouldn't be a thing that's a big deal about fertility. Shoot, like these women ain't having children and stuff. The fertility rates are down, shoot, the women ain't having sex. And I know some guys want to say, oh, they all three or four. No, let's just be with some real shit, man. Let's be with some real fucking shit. It would just be a totally different environment. In fact, I put it like this. Let me, let me, let me go even further. If men were getting it like that overall, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be doing this car video. I would, I would be just focused on making money. Making money, probably doing something that may be my prime money maker, and just overall like life success. I, uh, you know, thinking I'd be doing some other stuff. You wouldn't have a need, or you know, you got people talking about dating coaches and stuff, or relationship gurus, or something. If guys were getting it like that, they wouldn't be necessary. And indeed, even on online dating, even on online dating, it's mostly men on these sites. On Tinder, that's pretty much the standard term for online dating. The men outnumber the women nine to one. If they were getting in like that, in fact, if everybody was getting in like that, it wouldn't be the same thing. Or, you know, that statement, let me go back to the 80-20 thing. I've, getting, I've had people get on here, and, and I've seen several comments on some of those same pages talking about the issues that men are having saying, nah, they only want 1% of the men. They only want 5%. Any guys saying that, if they saying stuff like, well, only these guys are getting the women, apparently they're not talking about them. You know? You ain't gonna have anything to complain about. You know, you wouldn't have, I mean, you, I mean think about it. If men were getting it like that, if men were getting it like that, more than a five a year and they shoot that that's a better number some guys ain't getting it at all you know and then you get the average okay you got some guys legitimately getting into the hundreds but that's it's like uh that's a very very small percentage you wouldn't have a lot of stuff you wouldn't have a lot of stuff you wouldn't have a lot of complaints like i said i wouldn't be doing a car video now talking about relationships that's the primary thing that's made me money. Even though I can do other things, I'll probably be doing that. Shit, I got the credentials to, I definitely had the credentials to do other things. Shit. But like I said, you got a whole industry, a whole industry based on men not getting pussy. 
and either complaining about women or telling them how to get women. Because here's something else. Let me talk about that even further. You wouldn't need that. You wouldn't need an industry talking, telling men how to get women if they were getting women. Let's just be real. I want people to really think about that. It wouldn't be needed. You know? It wouldn't be needed. Because even with my stuff, I said, you know, most of the guys co-sign what I do. And I'm just talking about... And in fact, that's part of the reason why I get the people. See, my primary uh, supporters are guys who can get, get women. That's why I can understand some guys not really getting with that idea. We know some of y'all, shit, we know some of y'all like in the 100 Club. Or at least, uh, you know, had more women than whatever your age is. Or even then, had way more than five. Way more. That, some, some guys, that's a month's work. Shit. Some guys, that's a week's work. But one of the dynamics of this page is I'm, I'm convincing you you're not by yourself. That seriously, I've had a lot of guys say it because they've seen some things and they realize other guys around them ain't having the same thing. In fact, a lot of serious players, a lot of serious players don't really discuss what they do around guys because they realize other guys ain't rolling like them. Or they also get the other guys, they having trouble with stuff, they think the guy's lying. So a lot of serious players, serious womanizers, ladies, men, guys who really got legitimately high counts, they actually stay quiet. They actually stay quiet. They don't try to convince anybody of anything because they know the backlash from them. Now, if everybody was getting it like that, everybody would just be free to talk. Like I said, it'd be a whole different social environment, you know. You know, women, you got a ton of women. If they, if guys, all these guys out here, like you got all, okay, here's, here's something else from the woman's point of view. The women, are, the women constantly saying there's a shortage of guys, shortage of guys, shortage of guys. And contrary to what, uh, even though I said these women want sex, they just ain't finding the uh, men that they want to have sex with. If all these guys were getting it, the women wouldn't have anything to complain about because there's more than enough men. They would be getting some. So just, you got to look at it like that, and you know. And this ain't to put anybody down or anything like that. Let me just be clear on that. We just got to be realistic about stuff and understand, you know, especially for the fellas, you know, you ain't having trouble. Okay. But everybody's not in your, uh, and everybody's not in your boat. Everybody is not in your boat. So you guys just be realistic about stuff. And it is what it is now. That's why, you know, you know, we just got to be realistic. It is. Now, of course, honestly, shoot, let's get some other stuff in there. You got some guys, because somebody commented, uh, tried to be on some moralistic shit yesterday on my thing. And I'm like, I don't give a fuck about your virgin ass. You know, you got two dudes out here. They they seriously do think there's something wrong with sex. It could be religious reasons, whatever. You know? I mean, it is what it is. You got to look at all these factors. You got to look at all of these factors. But it just is what it is. But we just got to be realistic. Everybody's not going to be at the same place. Everybody's not going to be at that same place. So, anyway... That's all I got. I want y'all to really think about what I just said. And I'll get back with y'all tomorrow, all right? You know what? I, I already knew what I was going to talk about. I wrote it down somewhere tomorrow. <laughs> and yeah, that's going to be interesting. <laughs> anyway, I'll talk to y'all. Peace.